Continuing on the topic of asset creation, we're going to go ahead and create an asset within Inventor using a step file. I have Inventor loaded already, and we're going to go back to the Factory tab and Create Asset. We're going to choose Import Model again. And from here, instead of importing the part or assembly type, we are going to utilize step file. So pulling up the type list, I can choose step file here. Also note that you have solid edge, solid works, as well as a number of third party files. I'm going to choose step and I've recreated the bench file that was originally a part as a step file. I highlighted it. I'm going to hit open to open the file. From within the asset browser, we're going to go ahead and go through the publication process again. This asset likely is going to have parameters that you're going to want to define as well as things like the landing surface. Please note that most of the common steps that you would be taking through asset creation are located in the asset builder guide here. If we wanted to look at something like putting a landing surface in place, we can bring that guide up. And then if we wanted to define the landing surface for this, we can use the guide which tells us to choose landing surface and click on the landing surface of our choosing. Once the asset has been cleaned up and defined appropriately, we're going to go ahead and go through the publication process again. Once I hit the publish asset button, it'll ask me to save again. I'm going to hit yes. And from there, I'm going to choose vault again. I'm going to log into my vault. And once I've logged in, I'm going to go through and publish. Note that the 3D and 2D options are the same. And I'm going to go and place this in the factory assets folder. Because my vault 